All right, well, I'm here with Mr. Charlie Brown, and uh, we're talking with Bluebell about their new um, holiday flavors, and this one looks mighty tasty. Oh, it really is. It's really tasty. We've had it for a couple of years, and this is our holiday favorites. One of our, uh, I guess you'd say one of our four holiday favorites. And this is called a uh, Spiced Pumpkin Pecan, and it is actually awesome, I tell you. I, I, we had it last year, I think y'all were pretty excited about it mm -hmm. as well. And this is a spiced pumpkin ice cream okay. with sugar-coated pecans. Oh, my goodness. And then it's got a uh, cinnamon honey praline sauce mm -hmm. all through it. Wow. And it just, the combination is just really great. It sounds amazing. So uh, tell us how you guys come up with these ideas. I know we've kind of talked about before. Um, you guys all kind of imagine sitting in the room and just going over all these flavors. But how does it really work? Well, it works right. It actually starts right at the branch level. Mm -hmm. We have a flavor meeting in the spring every year for the, for the flavors for the following year. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically what happens, there's 12 to 14 flavors that are sent to us from our R&D department, our mm -hmm. corporate office. And, uh, and we sit down all day and eat ice cream. That is all so right? fun. And then, I love it. And then from there, we take and we uh, uh, go to a regional type meeting. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's process of elimination. And then when it's all said and done, they introduce the new flavors in January of, of like, January of 2013. We'll have our new four or five flavors we'll introduce next year. Wow. And so now do you always choose about four or five? Roughly. Okay. Four or five, mm -hmm. roughly. And sometimes we have a surprise. Mm -hmm. And we'll be talking about one later on that was kind of a surprise halfway through the year okay. this year. So it's really good. All right. Well, now, do, do you have a favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is butter pecan. Ah, I really, very traditional. Uh, yeah. I like that, uh, the, the, you know, it's sweet, but you add a little salty. Mm -hmm. And it's a great combination. Yeah. My dad likes that a lot, butter pecan. <laughs> what is yours? Um, it depends. I really, if it's bluebell, I really like the dessert trio. Oh, that's awesome. That <laughs> is my favorite one. So good. Or the birthday cake. Uh huh. Very, Those very good. good but I really like um, Rocky Road, like overall ice cream, because not everybody has bluebell, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah. overall, Rocky Road, but bluebell specifics. That dessert tree, oh man, you can't beat it. Well, you, know, you know your flavors. <laughs> I do. <laughs> we and my husband stand in the store and check them all out, and we try to decide which one we want. It's a very long process. But well, good. <laughs> we good. love it. That's we love good it. news. <laughs> but uh, am I going to get to try this? Sure, you're welcome okay. to sample it. All right. So, uh, again, go over what is in this. All right. It's a uh, spiced pumpkin ice cream with sugar-coated pecans, and then it's got a, a cinnamon honey praline sauce running through it. And uh, one thing... I wanted to make sure you all know, everyone knows this, we're still making the true half gallon. There you go. And what exactly do you mean when you say true half gallon? Well, competition over the last few years has uh, elected to, and that's not just an ice cream business, you know, it's all mm -hmm. other categories. They've reduced the sizes. And mm -hmm. our, our consumers, our customers, they, this is what they actually demand, you know. Okay. And what it is, we've got the full half gallon, and it's got all the ingredients. If we were to cut this half gallon in half, mm -hmm. You would be able to see how those uh, all the inclusions are all in there throughout the you know right, every exactly. bite every bite you should be getting you know the Some, pond mm -hmm. chocolate chip. It's so good. I just try. I, this is delicious, and I get to taste test some more in just a little bit. So you guys make sure to stick around, and uh, we're gonna try out some more, and we're gonna be making some desserts too. So right. uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, again, bluebell ice cream, and over to you, Chris. All right, and I'm back with Bluebell Ice Cream. We're here with Charlie Brown and Farrell Fontenot, and we're talking about some new holiday items they have here. And I remember this one right here from last year, and it's oh. quite quite delicious, too. Oh, it is. It is it's really good. This is our Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. We introduced it last year, and it was a big hit. I'll tell you how big a hit it was. We brought it back in July and called it <gasps> Christmas in July. That's and it, smart. it was great. I'm sure. So uh, this is a uh, sugar cookie-based ice cream, mm -hmm. and with your three favorite holiday cookies, your snickerdoodle, your sugar, and your chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. And then we got little red candy cane sprinkles, mm -hmm. and then with a green luscious swirl, icing wow. swirl. So, so much going really on in there. And oh, it's good. I've had that one before. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's delicious. It's good. Uh, and I was going to tell you, uh, last segment we talked about a Thanksgiving flavor, right. you know, spiced pumpkin pecan. So this time we're talking about two of our Christmas flavors. And now, are these out? Or are they coming out soon? They're in the stores right, right now. Right now. You can go get them right now. And you guys are celebrating a very special milestone at Bluebell, too. We sure are. At uh, our uh, branch in, in Thomasville, we're celebrating our 10th year anniversary. How time flies. We've, I mean, congratulations. Uh, been, the uh, consumers, we just love everyone in southwest Georgia. They've been good to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just ready for 
a lot more years. Of course. Now, uh, Mr. Farrell, tell me about uh, what's going on with this other item. We have our uh, long-standing traditional peppermint ice cream, which is the peppermint ice cream with uh, peppermint candy pieces swirled through it. Mm -hmm. And it's very delicious, very refreshing, especially after your Thanksgiving meal and Christmas meal. It's really good. So it's kind of a pinkish color. What is the ice cream actually made out of? It's peppermint. Oh, well, out of peppermint. It's actually okay. a peppermint ice cream and the little flakes of red and uh, blue you see in there, it's actually peppermint candy sprinkled through wow. it. Wow. And now, as you were kind of telling me a little bit earlier, that you guys orchestrate the ice cream so that your goal is that every spoonful will have, if there's pieces in it, a piece of whatever it's supposed to be. So tell us more about how that works. Well, when we produce our, our products, um, it's on the conveyor there and you've got the, uh, our containers are spinning. So when they're filled, you got one, maybe two coming in with, the, say, the van say vanilla. Mm -hmm. And you may have another one coming in with chocolate chips or maybe bananas, but the, the container is swirling. So as these are being put into the container, mm -hmm. it's evenly distributing it from the top, bottom to the top. That is so smart. So, I never would have thought that's how you do it. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's uh, it's really neat. Uh, if you ever get a chance, you need to see our creamery. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. And you guys are located in Thomasville. Right now, we're the distribution center there. Okay. We, our corporate office is in our creamery is in Brenham, Texas. Well, we have, I'm not going to be able to go to Texas. Well, I thought you could just get on a company plane. <laughs> oh, well, if you guys are providing. <laughs> no, you your know. company plane. <laughs> oh, we're still working on that one. <laughs> but uh, we have a creamery in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, mm. and then one in Silicog, Alabama. Okay. Where, that's where we get the majority of our ice cream. All right. And we do have tours. We had a little over 200,000 uh, people going through uh, Brenham last year. Mm -hmm. And it's a $5 charge to, w to walk in and... You know, get a tour and get the history of Bluebell. That would be so neat. I'd love to be able to do that if I'm ever in Texas, ever heading out there. <laughs> but uh, you guys, make sure to go by and get some Bluebell ice cream, perfect for after uh, your Thanksgiving feast. And we're going to be back with them in just a little while and uh, learning some more. You guys are actually going to make a special dessert with the ice cream. Yes, we will be doing that, yes. All right, fantastic. Again, Bluebell ice cream. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, hand it on over to Chris. All right, welcome back inside, and guess what? We've got Bluebell ice cream in the house. We have Charlie Brown and Farrell Fontenot here in the studios from Bluebell ice cream. Uh, guys, let's talk about these flavors. Farrell, first off, let's uh, take a look at these two on the end. I think we talked about some of these already, but we're going to recap it because they are good. And this is a spiced pumpkin pecan. It's a spiced mm -hmm. pumpkin ice cream with sugar-coated pecans. And if you look really good, it has a cinnamon honey praline oh sauce that comes right I see that coming on the top there. Mm -mm -mm. And then our um, peppermint ice cream, which is a uh, peppermint ice cream with uh, peppermint candy pieces uh, throughout All it. Right. Boy, they certainly look good, even yeah, even this morning, uh, even after yesterday's uh, luncheon here at the station. I'm looking at these going, oh my goodness, can I do some more? I don't know, but I think I'm going to have to. All right, uh, Charlie, tell us a little bit about this one here. Okay. These are our, first of all, these are all our holiday favorites. Mm -hmm. We started doing this about two years ago. Right. Uh, this one we introduced last year. Uh, it's Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. it's a, I remember uh, it well. We have the three favorite cookies in there. We've got snickerdoodle cookies, right. sugar cookies, and chocolate chip cookies. And it's in a sugar cookie based ice cream. Mm -hmm. And we've got the candy cane sprinkles. Oh, wow. And then a green mm -hmm. icing swirl. <laughs> okay. And this was such a hit that uh, we brought it back this past July, right. if everybody remembers yeah, that. Remember it was a Christmas in July. <laughs> yeah. So it was a really good. It was really good. And this one's new this year, right? This is our big one. This was a surprise. Okay. Like I was telling Kelly earlier, a lot of times with another flavors early in the year. Mm -hmm. We didn't know about this to mid-year. It is, uh, and already it's a hit. It's been out for about two weeks. Okay. It's called Gingerbread House. Mm -hmm. And it's a cinnamon ice cream with gingerbread pieces all okay. through it. And then we got mini marshmallows in it. And then we got a vanilla icing swirl. Wow. And it's really good. With a cinnamon ice cream with the gingerbread, it's just a perfect... Yeah. Now, was this one of the brainstormings in, in, in your guys' sessions where you sit there and eat ice cream all day? And, yeah. Or, I, hey, I think this would taste good with this, and let's try mixing this together, and it just kind of comes to you. Huh? I believe this one, we give full credit to our R&D department. Mm -hmm. who do a, They do a great job and come out with these flavors. Uh, yeah. They're the decision makers. They're the connoisseurs of ice cream. I yeah, see. No, yeah. It's probably a great job to have. Yeah, I like I'm it. guessing so. <laughs> Tough job to have. Uh, and they certainly do a good job coming up with these eclectic flavors and everything. And uh, how long will these be out throughout the holiday season? Throughout into the new year, or do we? It's have very limited supply. It's okay. once it's gone, it's gone. Um, if you can find it in your grocery stores, yeah. buy what you want to stock up. You may yeah. want to stock up. Yeah, It'd be out, should be out through the first of the year. Okay, that's what our plan is. All right, and Over of course, uh, folks can go to your local supermarket, market. load up. If you got room in your freezer, why not? You know, it's the holiday season, and everybody likes to come together. You got your family over. 
sit around and eat up some bluebell ice cream. Right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. We're uh, we're still the true half gallon. Also, mm -hmm. want to let you know we have our website bluebell.com. You can go in there, okay. and uh, if there's um, monthly, there's uh, free coupons. You can join what we call the country club. Okay. And you can get involved with flavor making, uh, ideas, things like that. Okay. You can also find out what if flavors are coming and going because mm -hmm. we rotate some of our flavors out. Okay. And it's a great website just to browse around with. Okay. And what's the website again? It's www.bluebell.com. Okay. Very easy to go. Bluebell.com. All right. One of Kelly's favorite websites. Kelly, over to you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kelly. We're back inside. It may be cold outside, but it's warm in here. But we've got cool, uh, wonderful ice cream in here from Bluebell. And of course, taking a look. That's some of, uh, I guess, some of the video there from how you guys make some of this ice cream. And those look like some of the same pieces I see in this. Here. That is right. You're, what you're <laughs> seeing here is the making of Gingerbread House. Okay. It's been introduced this fall mm -hmm. and for the, Christmas, the holiday season. And what we got here is a uh, cinnamon ice cream. And then we've got gingerbread pieces mm -hmm. with the miniature marshmallows. And then we have a vanilla icing swirl. And okay. as you see right there, our containers, I talked about it earlier, how right. our containers are spinning and, uh, and they fill it up. But anyway, all the inclusions from mm -hmm. the bottom to the top is evenly spread so out. So like, like you were saying earlier, like each bite has a little bit of You should get everything. something yeah. in each bite. That's right. right. That's right. Well, that's it's not going to be just at the top yeah, underneath the window. You don't have window. to dig down to the bottom to find anything. That's it's right. right there. All that's right. right. And uh, so we're real excited about it. Uh, we think we got a big hit here. Okay. And uh, to carry a little further, we're going to make a dessert. Okay. And, uh, Let's do it. All right, we got what we call this is a gingerbread house sundae with a rum glaze. Okay. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip some ice cream in uh, a big scoop. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Always worry about the temperament or the temper. Well, temperament too, but the temper, <laughs> temperament or you know, the ice cream is tempered, and because mm -hmm. you never know if it's if it's real firm, you never know where that scoop is going. Right. It could go in your tie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want. I've that. had that happen. <laughs> but anyway, guilty as we, charged. We've, we fill it up pretty good, mm -hmm. and uh, it's again, it's an easy dessert to make. And what I got here is I got a rum glaze. Okay. And that's uh, what you do is you take a half a cup of uh, the dark brown sh uh, brown sugar, mm -hmm. and then you take a quarter cup of rum. Okay. And then a tablespoon of butter, and then a teaspoon of molasses. Oh wow! And you okay. mix it together, put it on the stove, mm -hmm. come to a boil, okay. and then let it simmer down Sorry. a little bit. Right. Okay. And what you'll have here is you got a, a warm sauce. And we're just going to basically pour this over this. Okay. With and this is what's called the rum glaze. Hmm. So. Uh, All right. Looks good. Yeah, it's. Uh, you could add gingerbread snaps, cookies to it, mm -hmm. or gingerbread man pieces, whatever. But really, you've got the gingerbread pieces already in ice cream, so why right. even mess with it, right? But this is called a uh, again a gingerbread house sundae with a rum glaze. Okay. Okay. Well, it smells mighty fine. Looks really good too. All right. And uh, hard pressed to find anything wrong with all those ingredients. No, I tell no, you what. No, it's a it's a good one. Mm -hmm. And we're like I say, we're there's other recipes. But again, this is a simple one for the holidays. Okay. And folks can get this recipe and more on your guys's website. You sure can. All right. And that is bluebell.com. Right? That's bluebell.com, and we're still mm -hmm. the true half gallon. All right. Still the true half gallon, and still uh, lots of stuff out there for the holidays, including more than just this flavor, but this is the new hit uh, for this particular season, right?